Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little fun and different. So if you guys follow me on social media and if you don't, I'll leave my handles down below in the description box. I put up a poll on Instagram and I asked if you guys wanted to see neutral glam makeup or turning myself into an e-girl. The e-girl option won by a long shot. So I guess I'm just gonna go with that. And for the people who did vote neutral glam that will be coming up, that'll be probably my next video because I did film that once before and I lost all the footage, which really sucked. But today, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna turn myself into an e-girl. And I honestly don't entirely know what the term means, but I'm just gonna do like their makeup style or whatever. And to anyone who is an e-girl, all power to you. That's just not me. Like I don't dress like that. I don't do my makeup like that. Like that's just not me, but y'all like, y'all kill it. So today I'm going to do it and I'm so excited. And also one of my subscribers who is also a friend requested it. So if you guys would like to see the transformation, just keep on watching. Okay, so I looked up the technical term and apparently it's a girl who does like online stuff or video games online, which I don't know how that ties together with the makeup thing. So I wonder if there's like two different definitions, like an urban dictionary definition and an illegitimate definition. But um, that's what that is. Just thought I'd let you know for anybody who doesn't know like me. Um, and I wanted to know before I did the makeup, so. Okay, so I don't entirely know where this look is going or what I'm doing, but of course I'm always gonna prime my eyes with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I think I wanna use like pinks because I think that's a typical shade that they use, like pink, black. I don't know, this is gonna be a full on transformation. Like I'm doing makeup, hair, outfit, everything. So this right now is me before, like I'm just wearing a t-shirt and some shorts um and typically like if i'm gonna get dressed up i'm super girly like sometimes i like to be grungy but never like the full-on e-girl style like that's just not something that i dress as i'll usually wear like a dress and like glam makeup or my other style i like is to wear like a band t-shirt and some leggings and high tops like i don't know what that'd be considered like i've had friends in the past tell me that i'm a tumblr girl I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't know what these classifications mean at all. Like, I only have three styles. The two I mentioned are like the super simplistic, which is how I'm dressed right now. I know that my outfit or my shirt is not super appealing for a YouTube video, but I figured I'd kind of just make it like the beginning, like so that you could really see a before and after, like who I am versus the transformation. I'm not doing any dye in my hair or crazy stuff. Uh-uh. This hair is not turning black. I love my blonde hair. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the palette we're going to be using today, which is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trend Mischief Matte Palette. It's just a bunch of colorful shades. I used this in one video before, and I didn't really like it or like the shades that I was using, but this has a lot of pink options, so in purple, so that's why I wanna use this and I hope I don't have to move to a different palette. So I'm just gonna go in with the white shade called Saint and I'm going to set down my eyelids. Guys, comment down below like what you would classify me in. Like, you know, there's Visco girl, E girl, Tumblr girl, I guess. I feel like a lot of this stuff has to do with TikTok and I don't really spend a lot of time on TikTok. Like I don't even have the app on my phone. If I see a TikTok, it's because I saw it on Instagram. All right, so I want like a sharp wing, I think. So I'm gonna use tape on my eyes. You don't have to do this. You can kind of just like sharpen it out. My dog's outside, I can see him. You can sharpen it up with, um, with makeup remover, but I just really want it really sharp. You am gonna give yourself a facelift with this. Okay, I look ridiculous right now, but just bear with me because at the end, the makeup looks gonna be so much better. All right, so first thing I'm doing is going in with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back in with the palette and I think I wanna use the shade Ringleader and run that all through my crease. I'm so excited, this is so fun. You know, the shade being called Ringleader is kind of funny because I was just listening to the song Circus by Britney Spears. Do any of y'all know what's going on with her? I have no idea. I'm doing it kind of messy because I want it to kind of get on the lid. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is 
Fearless, which is just more of like a kind of cool tone pink. And I'm just going to do the same thing with that. These shadows are working a lot better than the last time I used them. Next, I'm going in with the shade Underdog, which is a deeper pink, and putting this more on the outer V and also into the crease. You just kind of really want to smoke these pinks out. Then you want to go in with a smaller crease brush, and I'm going in with the shade Ricochet, which is kind of like a muted purple and I'm just going to put that on the outer V to darken it now I'm going in with the shade haunted right here and I'm putting that on the outer V Alright, so for the lid, I'm going to go in with the MAC Pigment in the shade Whisper Pink. It's just a super light pink shade, which I think is good for the lid. First, I'm going to spray my brush, kind of to foil out that pigment a little more. And I'm just going to tap that over top. Alright, so now I need a really dramatic wing, and I'm going to use the MAC Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Track, and I'm just going to do a wing while I still have the tape on my eyes. This gel eyeliner is so good. Okay, so I got my wings on. They're very big. I would never wear my eyeliner like this, but I figured it was fitting for the look. It'll all come together when it's all done. But now I can move on to my favorite part, which is the base. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with primer, and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is one of my favorites. I'm almost out. Okay. And I'm just going to rub that in all over my face. It feels so nice. It feels like you're blending water onto your skin. Alright, next I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And mine is in the shade 420. <laughs> we like that shade. Just kidding. Let's check it up. I'm just gonna put some onto my beauty blender, which is the this is the Sonia Kashuk sponge, and it's actually really nice. So my favorite foundation at the moment is the NYX Born to Glow foundation, but I feel like the girls in e-girl makeup always have like a soft matte finish on their face. Sometimes I see dewy, but I'm just going to go with what's trendy, I guess. This foundation has such a nice scent to it. It like kind of smells like rose, so if you don't like rose, you won't like it. But it's not overpowering, and I love the scent of rose. I have so many perfumes and rose scents. Now for concealer, I'm going back in with the e.l.f. concealer. See, this is like my multi-purpose concealer. This stuff, though, is super light and super high, like, coverage. You know, I try so hard not to make the concealer or mascara face. But it's like second nature. Am I the only one that like, I always got, always have my mouth open. Now I'm gonna set all of that down with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I'm gonna bake a little bit underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And that's a tip I wanted to share with you guys. So like with this mask stuff, like mandatory mask wearing, um, if you like really press powder and let the powder sit longer on your nose, it kind of helps with the transfer from the mask. 
because no matter how good the foundation is, and I use a lot on my nose, no matter how good the foundation is, it's kind of going to come off because like it's just constantly rubbing. And then I just press the powder into the rest of my face, especially on the part where I'd wear a mask. And now I can wipe away under the eyes first. And then I like to kind of buff around the rest of my face with the smaller brush. Make sure all that powder is blended and I don't have any streaks. And I'm just kind of going to go over with my beauty blender and pound some of that moisture back in. Now to bronze up my face, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. This is a little bit more cool than all of my other bronzers, so I think that'll kind of be good for this look. So next step is blush and I'm going in with the Milani T Rose blush. Now this step's going to get a little interesting. So first I'm going to obviously put some on my cheeks. And a lot on my, the apples on my cheeks. So in order to do that, usually I'll put my like blush right over top of my bronzer like that. But I'm going to focus it on the apples on my cheeks today. You just want to kind of smile. Now I'm going to take more and I'm putting it on my nose. So now you see it kind of makes me look a little sunburnt on my nose. So that's the point. I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me. And after I sprayed my face, I'm going with my Ofra highlight in the shade Star Island. Since we have all that blush on, it's kind of making the highlight pick up like pinkier and I love that. And of course I'm going ham. I always go ham on highlight no matter what I'm doing. And a little bit on the tip of my nose. There you go. And a little bit on the bridge. Cupid's bow. Chin. And then forehead all right so now i'm going to create freckles on my face or at least try to so i'm going to use the revlon color stay brow mousse and it has this like weird tip to it so i thought it'd be like kind of cool to just maybe like dot but i don't know if it's working all right so i'm actually going to go in with the morphe trendsetter eyeliner and just dot and hope that i don't mess it up You want to have like a lot on your nose and your cheeks. I'm a little closer. I finally found something that works. It's going to be the e.l.f. brow pen or pencil. So now I'm going in with my beauty blender and just blending over top of them. Make them look a little more natural. Oh my god, that's so cute! I'm going with more blush, guys, on my nose. I'm going to do my lower lash line, and I'm just going to go in with the shade Fearless. And run that underneath. Alright, so for the next step, this is going to get a little weird. I'm going to go back in with Fearless, and I'm going to kind of draw an upside down triangle on the bottom part of my eye. I look kind of crazy right now. Now I'm going to wet a pointed brush, and I'm going to dip back into that pigment, and I'm just kind of going to go in the middle of that. think that's how they do it I don't know guys I'm just messing around and trying to recreate what 
these girls do. Now I'm kind of going to take a little bit of that. I'm really going to highlight the tip of my nose. Now I'm going back in with the liquid liner and I'm going to make a heart. And I might do this off camera because if I do it on camera, I won't be able to do it. All right, so that's two hearts and I love it. Oh my God. And now I'm just going in with Morphe Dark Room to do my waterline and tie line. All right, now I'm gonna pop on some falsies. These are the Cala, Cala, Cala Volt Lashes in the flirty style. Now I'm going in with the Bretman Rock Bad Bitch Lift Mascara by Wet n Wild. All right, so lashes are on and I coated my bottom lashes. All right, so for the last step of the makeup, I'm going in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Ruffle Trim. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go curl my hair off camera and then I'll come back to show you what I'm doing with my hair. All right, guys, I am back and my hair is curled. It is a mess, like it's so bouncy. But ignore that I'm not the best hair curler on earth. Um, we're gonna do our hair and style it up anyway. Like I literally look like a lion. What is this? Anyway, I'm gonna go change into my most e-girl shirt, I guess, which is kind of just like a band shirt. Which I wear that anyway, but I'm gonna go change into that real quick before I start with my hair so I don't ruin it. Alright, so I'm just in a band shirt. You can't really tell it's a Rolling Stones t-shirt. I have multiple of these because that's what I wear to work. But anyway, I'm going to move on with my hair. I'm just going to kind of part my hair. It's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. And pull it back like that. And then I'm just going to tie it. Alright, so there's one. And I'm going to do another one. And that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to put some earrings in. And I have all different kinds of sizes. So the first one I have is this one. And I'm going to put that in my first hole. Oh my god, it's all coming together. God. The only thing I'm missing is black hair. Why is my hair everywhere? I'm gonna use this size now. Okay, so I have the hoops in and now I'm going to put a necklace on. All right, you guys, so this is the concluded makeup look. I love it. Like, I wouldn't go out like this regularly, but I think this is so cute and so fun, like just to play around with. So yeah, this is my e-girl transformation. Let me know how I did in the comments below. If I look like I could pass as an e-girl, I was gonna wear a necklace, but I could not get it untangled. That's what it looks like. But anyway, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like it and subscribe. Don't forget to comment for future videos so that I know it's a film for you guys. Next up should probably be the neutral glam. I'm not entirely sure, but that's most likely what it's going to be. But yeah, I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.